Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors. Today we're going to saw up this maple log. Tim will be joining us in just a few minutes. This log has got a crook in it. We figure 12 inches on the small end and that'll give us a, I think it was nine inch camp, maybe an eight and a half inch camp, but we have to end up with, uh, we have to end up with a eight inch wide board. We're going for FAS. That'll be clear wood with no nut. Where the hell did you come from? <laughs> Just like that. All right, guys. So anyway, we've already opened up this log. There's a hump in the log right here, which usually indicates that there was an injury on the tree at one point or not or something. So when we get into the log, we'll find out. But we're hoping for clear wood. That's what the customer wants. Back in the old days, I already explained it on the last video, we would saw the pith out of the center and leave quarter sawn pieces on either side. Customer said he will do that himself. So we're just going to saw right through the pith and away everything goes. All right, let's get started on this log. Okay, so because I screwed up, the small end of the log is on this end of the mill instead of that end. We got a brand new blade on the mill. I hate doing that, brand new blade. I like the Ricky Resharp. It don't cost as much. All right, so we've already drawn the square on the log. I got to come down one more inch on this cut. We opened it up last night to see if we could see anything where this hump is. I'm going to come down one more inch. We're going to roll the log 180 degrees, and then we'll come down to the 8-inch mark, and then we'll start sawing out boards, and I guess we'll find out what's under this hump. All right, let's get started. Let's hope it's not a camel. Yeah. <laughs> Look at here, John Davison from Davison's All Natural Gym. Yep. Another nice YouTube you. channel. <laughs> You're a long way from Indiana or Illinois. Long in, Indiana Illinois border. Yep, Illinois. Wow, right. that's a long way. Long trip. I bet. So you brought a crew with you? Yeah, I brought the family with me. So we Two, three. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, say hello. hello. Hey. <laughs> So you said you're gonna stop by for a visit? Yeah, I thought I might. That'd be nice. That was nice. You caught us right in the middle of sawing up some hard maple. That'll work. Which is supposed to be clear, and we ended up with a couple of knots in this a couple one. Couple knots. But I think the customer will accept it. He's using small pieces out of it. So, did you bring anything for us to saw this morning? I brought it. I just cut down that big maple, a big maple, yeah. right? four foot maple. And I bought a burl off the bottom of it just to see what was inside of yeah, it. Yeah, we'll cut that up today. That'll be just cool. Just see what was inside of oh, it. Yeah. I, can yeah, get another, I don't think it'll be much. We can get we... another video out of that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the videos, guys. That's it. That's when, it. When we cut it, it had the inside of it was hollower than I thought it was, than well, I wanted it to be. But nowadays, with, nowadays with resins, people love to yeah. get hollow stuff. Yeah. You can actually drive right down here, John, if you want. Okay. And then uh, we'll finish sawing this up and we'll throw it on here and see what we got. All right, that'll work. All right, let's get busy. So we're going to start sawing this at five quarter, and we're going to go five quarter until we do it. Once we get this side cut, we're going to roll it over. We end up with a couple of knots in it. This is intended for the customer. He said those little knots won't hurt anything, so we're good to go.
Guys, we ended up with seven nice boards on the trailer, which we're getting ready to cover up. We have the next maple log on the mill that we're going to cut. And we ended up with one flitch that we'll get a eight inch wide board out of. So that'll be eight boards total that we uh, are able to get out of that log for this customer. We got a bird nest up there. It's got a bunch of babies in it. And I can see I'm going to have to move this flitch. I put it in here to keep it out of the rain and I got bird poop on it. I don't mind you coming in here guys and living, but you got to keep the wood clean. All right, I'll move that flitch down here and stood it up straight so the birds can't poop on it. All right guys, we're going to call it a day. It's hot and humid. We are going to saw a burl up for John Davison at Davison's All Natural Gym. It's another YouTube channel. He interacts with us. He came by for a visit. We're going to saw that burrow up on the next video. You're not going to want to miss that one. That is some kind of beautiful wood that he brought us to saw. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit that subscription button. Hit the notifications bell. You don't want to miss any of our future videos. And hit that thumbs up. If you hit the thumbs up, the little birds will like it up here, okay? All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, we will catch you later.